Hi, I'm Brett Larkin, and this is a short class for PMS, cramps, if you're just not feeling in a good mood. Optional props are a strap and a block. You don't need to have these things, but if you do, they are helpful. Come on up. So I know when you're cramping and feeling yucky, the last thing you want to do is move, but moving is actually going to help a lot. And we're not going to do anything too fatiguing or serious in this sequence. We're just going to stimulate the body by moving a little bit. Come to the top of the mat with your feet hip width apart. Good. And then just lengthen the tailbone down. And you can even take both hands to the belly and just kind of move side to side. So instead of shying away and pretending that we're not in pain, just really have your hands wherever you're maybe feeling cramping or bloating and just really feel into that space completely. We're going to like breathe into it. So I'm swaying a little bit side to side. My feet are hip width apart. You could take them even wider than hip width apart. Just take a deep breath in. And exhale all the way. Good. Just inhaling, thinking of expanding the belly, the abdominal muscles. Exhaling all the way. Good. Last time, breathing in. Exhaling. Good. Inhale. Circle the arms down, around, and up. Reach up. Mm. Exhale. Swan dive forward. And breathe in, half lift, find your flat back. And then exhale, step it back to a plank pose. Good. We'll lower all the way down to the floor in one straight line. So you can take knees, chest, chin, your choice. And then inhale, just come into a little cobra pose. So I'm taking my hands wider than the mat. I'm pressing my hips into the mat and my big toe and little toe into the mat. And just lifting from the heart, breathing in. Staying lifted, breathing out, drawing the shoulder blades down the back. Good, breathing in. Mm, breathing out. Last one. Good, exhale, press back, child's pose. So knees wide, seat to heels. Just rock side to side. Good, and then you can find stillness if you like. Just set your head down, so make sure your forehead has contact with the floor or a block. Just breathe now into your low back. So bring your index fingers to touch, so your elbows are wide. You're making like a diamond shape with your hands above your head. It's going to let your traps and your whole upper body relax. So relax the shoulders, relax the jaw. Just breathe into the low back. Exhale all the way. Good. Breathe into the low back. Exhale completely. Once more. Breathe in. Good. Breathe out. Come on up to all fours. Instead of taking cat cow, we're just going to make some circles with the hips. Just circles with the hips. So just take the hips in a big circle. Just kind of warming up, lubricating the hip joint. Good. Nice. And then find stillness. Let this evolve into puppy pose. So keep the seat where it is. Just walk the hands forward and press your forehead and palms into the floor. Extend your tailbone long behind you. And just energetically squeeze your inner thighs towards one another. Three deep breaths here. Just cultivating feelings of surrender and softening. Good. Take the hands underneath you. Press back into your downward facing dog. Good. Take the right leg high to the sky. Bend the knee, stack the hips. Good. Spin the right shoulder down towards the mat. Lift the right knee a little higher. Good. And then take the right foot to the outside of the right hand. So you're in a nice wide lunge. Take the left hand maybe to the outside of the mat. And reach the right hand high to the sky for a big open lunge twist. Keep kicking through the back left heel. Send the heart back in space. Big breath in. Mm, 
and exhale all the way, last breath. Good, take the hands to the inside of the foot. Drop the back knee so you're in lizard pose and just stay up on the hands and kind of rock side to side. Or you can come down onto the elbows, so your choice. And if you're in sort of an in-between place, you can rest the elbows on a block. And just three depth breaths here, and feeling into the hips and the body. Just noticing maybe already if the body feels a little different. Good, and then take the hands underneath the shoulders. Listen carefully, curl the back toes under, straighten the left leg, then bend into the left knee. Just gonna step the left foot forward so you're in Malasana squat pose. Press the elbows into the knees and the knees into the elbows. And if squat pose isn't accessible to you and you have a block, right, or you just wanna make it a little easier, this is a place you can be that works out pretty well. So wherever you are, pressing elbows into knees, knees into elbows. Deep breaths. Good, and then straighten the right arm. Press it down, lift the left arm. Maybe you just stay here, Glide the shoulders down the back, or maybe you take it into a little bind. So you let the left hand come down by the low back, and then you bend the right elbow and twist. Press the pinky toe and big toe side of the foot into the floor. And dip the chin, back of the neck is long. Just for three. Two, good, last one. Exhale, hands come back to prayer. Just notice the difference in the two sides of the body. Glide the shoulders down and back, breathe in. And then exhale, hands to the floor. Straighten the legs, fold forward. Bring the feet back to parallel. Inhale, half lift, get long. And exhale, bend the knees, melt, fold forward. Good, inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees, fold forward. Breathe in, get long, half lift. Exhale, fold. Good, and then we'll roll up one vertebra at a time. So let the head be heavy, chin into chest, head is the last thing to come up. Roll through your low back, mid back, upper back. Good. <sighs> Roll through the balls of the feet. Good, and then listen carefully. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Hold on to the right wrist with the left hand, and then turn that right palm straight up to the ceiling. So it's pointing right towards the ceiling. Begin grounding down through the right foot. Inhale, get tall, lengthen your tailbone down. And you're gonna exhale, side bend to the left. So side bend to the left, squeeze your biceps towards your face. And then exhale, <laughs> just take it in a huge circle. So reach, 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 press down through the right foot, press the right palm towards the side wall, squeeze the biceps alongside the face, and then let it release. Two more on your own. So just looking for a huge side stretch on the right side of the body, reach, 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 and then let it release. Last time, huge side stretch, reach, reach, reach. Good, and let it release, good. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Breathe in, half lift, get long. Exhale, step back to plank, chaturanga. Of course, you can take cobra again. We'll all meet downward facing dog. Take the left leg high to the sky, bend the knee, stack the hips. Good, press the left shoulder towards the floor. Big breath in, big breath out. Again, finding your long, slow, deep inhale. Exhale, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Right hand maybe comes to the wood a little wider than your mat. Then lift the left arm up for your easy twist. Keep pressing through the back right leg. Open the heart, spin the chest towards the sky. Good, three breaths. Last two breaths. 
So when we have cramps or we're not feeling good, we want to breathe into those spaces. So you send your breath to wherever's feeling a little yucky, and then both hands underneath the shoulders. Drop the knee to the ground for our lizard pose. Good. And we want to think more about fluidity in our practice during this time of the month as well. So instead of kind of trying to stretch into the deepest version of lizard or the deepest version of some of these poses, we want to think more of like a wa the water quality, right? Less the fire quality, more the water quality. So that's why I'm like rocking side to side a lot. I'm staying up on my hands, even though I could be down on my elbows. So just see where you want to go. But this isn't about having our most intense practice in terms of asana or how much we push our flexibility, right? This is just about moving stuff in the body, helping stuff move through the body, through moving ourselves and inviting some movement into our um, practice, into our day. Lengthen the back leg. Good, and then we'll step it forward for our squat. So take the right foot to the outside of the right hand, always option to sit up on that block if that's more comfortable for you. And then press the elbows into the knees and the knees into the elbows. And as you do that, get longer. So when you have this dynamic resistance of elbows pressing into knees, knees pressing into elbows, you can really grow from the crown of the head, tip the chin down, and then just imagine there was like a dead weight attached to your tailbone. And hear your breath, right? Have compassion for the body. Your body is going through a process right now. How can you have compassion? Where can you bring more ease? Extend the left arm down and reach the right arm up. Good, if that feels good. You can stay there, you can come into the bind. Holding the wrist if you can. Keep the knees rotating out. Notice if your knees are like collapsing in. See if you can keep the torso long. Last two breaths. Press through the pinky toe sides of both feet. Last breath. Good, and then bring the hands back to prayer. Fuse the hands at prayer heart center. Drag your shoulders down and back. Feel yourself get taller. Deep breath in. Exhale completely. One more deep breath in. Exhale, hands to the mat. Gently straighten the legs. Bring the feet back to parallel. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, circle the arms down, around and up. Reach up, look up. Good, this time turn the left palm up, hold on with the right hand. Maybe take the feet a little wider than hip width apart, begin pressing down through that left foot. Turn the left palm to the ceiling, inhale, get long. And then exhale, side bend over to the right, big stretch for the left side of the body. Reach, 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 keep the biceps active. Keep reaching through like the heel of your hand here. Then you exhale, let it go, and bring it all the way around. Good. So you clasp the hand the whole time as you reach. You just let the upper body drape to take it back around. Lengthen the tailbone down. Lengthen, lengthen, reach, reach, reach. Press the heel of your left hand to the right. Good. And then back and around. Last one. Reach, reach, reach. Mm, take it around. Good. Reach both arms up. Mm, exhale, swan dive forward. Breathe in, half lift. Exhale, step back to your plank pose and hold plank. Press your heels back, draw the sternum forward. Breathe in, breathe out, pull the tummy up and in, pull the navel up and in. We're here for three, two. Heat helps move things through the body, so we're heating up. Good, exhale, knees to the ground. Double over your mat. And then take the knees onto the padded mat, curl the toes under, we're getting ready for camel. So your camel may be very small or very big. Wherever you are, lengthen your tailbone towards your knees, maybe take the hands to the belly again. 
You can just take some deep breaths and stay here, but keep that kind of lengthening action of the tailbone down and your hip points are levering up towards your chin. So you're not here, right? You're thrusting really forward, okay? And then you can take the hands to your low back. Good, and then begin arching back. Option one, you can just stay here, or you can take your hands, fingertips face down, like you're putting your hands in your jean pockets. See what that feels like. And if you want to come into full camel, you're going to hold one heel and then the other, thrust the hips forward. And we really don't want to be feeling this too much in our low back, so to protect your low back, lengthen your tailbone towards your knees. Pull the navel in, lever the hip bones up. Last two breaths. Final breath. Super gentle with yourself to come up. So take one hand to the low back, then the other. Ease yourself down. Child's pose. Take the mat long and rest. <sighs> Breathe into your back body. And then slowly press yourself up. Good. So come back onto your seat. We're going to come into Janu Shirsasana. So I want you to have, um, I'll mirror you. So you'll have right leg extended, left foot in. And make sure that the hips are open, right? So sometimes we do this pose with the hips closed. For today, with what we're focusing on, I want the hips to be open so that when we fold, we really get a, a twist across the belly, which is going to help things move through, help with the cramps, okay? So make sure that that right foot is flexed, and you're going to inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist over that long leg, get a little longer still, and then exhale, fold forward. Good. So again, we're less concerned about getting a great stretch for our hamstrings and more concerned about how we can just gently open the low back and how we can be just experiencing this twist while still breathing a lot. Draw the shoulders down the back. So I have my hands on either side of my leg. I'm not even reaching for the foot. And I'm just letting the weight of my head traction my upper body down so it's sort of opening the low back. Okay. One more deep breath here. Nice. And then slowly press yourself up. Take that leg straight in front of you. Take the sole of the foot over the knee. And then pull the knee in. Get long. And exhale, twist. Inhale, length. Exhale, twist. Notice if the leg that's long and extended is kind of wilted. Keep it flexed. Keep it active. Inhale, length. Exhale, twist. Good. Twist as deep as you can. Awesome. And then we'll take it to the other side. So the leg of the knee that was up is now going to be the leg that's extended. Draw the right foot into the groin. So you're doing the same as me. Or just whatever side you didn't already do. <laughs> Press the thigh into the ground. Make sure that extended leg is really flexed. And then hips are open. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, use your core to twist over the leg. Inhale, get a little longer. And then exhale, fold. So again, more focused on the twist than reaching the foot. And I'm just going to kind of rock forward and back. And then use your hands like little levers to kind of navigate the body. See if you can line it up so your navel is moving more towards the thigh. And then let your head be heavy and just drop down. So this is more about a low back stretch, more about just experiencing a twist while breathing deeply than any kind of deep hamstring stretch. Right, this practice is about recovery, healing, 
and a quality of fluidity and movement and ease. Right? It's not the fiery, pull out your heart as practice, practice. <laughs> and deep breaths into the low back. Two more deep breaths. Good. Gently press yourself up. Take the leg that's long directly in front of you. Pull the knee that was bent into the chest. Cross it over the leg. And you can pull that knee in with your elbow. Inhale, get long. Exhale, twist. Inhale, finding more length. Exhale, twist deeper. So while this practice is about ease and fluidity, I do invite you to really go for it with these twists here. It's gonna help the cramps. It's gonna help everything move through. It's gonna help you feel better. Last breath. Good. Come to center and just take the soles of the feet to touch. Fold um, the feet towards one another like a little book. Let the knees drop off to the sides. Inhale, get long. And exhale, fold. Turn the palms face up. Just gesture of surrender and release. Just let your low back release here for five breaths. Breathe into the low back, drop the chin into the chest, just fully release. Last huge breath. Good, and then gently walk yourself back up. Good, and then gently walk yourself back up. Bring the knees to touch. We're going to come to lie down on our back, so... If you want to roll down like we often do in class, you can. And if you're tired and you just want to um, get down without any fancy way of doing it, you can do that too. If you have a strap, have it nearby. We're going to pull the right knee into the chest. Let the left leg go long. Good. And if you don't have a strap, maybe you just want to stay here pulling the knee down. So really pull the knee down towards the right shoulder. So right knee is really pulling down towards the right shoulder. So if you don't have a strap, you can just stay here. Just keep that compression. Again, that's going to help things move through. It's going to help with the cramps. If you have the strap, you can take the leg long. Or if you don't need a strap, right, you can hold the leg. And then keep that left leg active. Press the femur, the thigh bone down. Flex the foot. And just get a nice stretch now on the back of the leg. The toes flex back towards the face. Keep kicking up through the center of the foot, through the heel. And then if you're using the strap, take the strap in the right hand only and open the leg out to the right. And again, some of you might not even need a strap and you can just lengthen the leg. And if you were just holding the knee this whole time, you're just opening up into happy baby, half happy baby. So lots of options. Good. And then wherever you are, we'll gather the right knee into the chest for a final squeeze and let it go long. Take the hands to the belly. Deep breath in and out. Good. No rush. Pull the left knee in. And draw that knee down towards your left shoulder blade and then rotate the 
toes of that right leg towards the ceiling. So this right leg stays active. Mm, draw the left knee towards the left shoulder. And you can just stay here and maybe make little circles with the knee. Or if you have a strap, take the strap around the ball of the foot and extend the leg long. Both feet are flexed and active. The shoulders are relaxed. Inhale. Exhale completely. Mm, two more. Good, and then gather both sides of the strap and the left hand and open the leg out to the left. Mm -hmm. If you don't need the strap, you can just hold the foot. Option two is just to take half happy baby. So you're holding the outside, the pinky toe side of the foot. And you can extend the leg and rebend as it feels good to you. Good, as you're ready, draw the left knee back into the chest, give it a final squeeze. Good, draw the right knee in as well. And then happy baby with both legs. Just really firming the low back into the floor. Maybe teeny tiny rocking from side to side. Good, and then just draw the knees back into the chest. Lengthen the legs. Take both hands back to the belly. If you wanna take the legs up the wall or roll that blanket and put it underneath your knees, anything you can do to kind of baby yourself. I welcome you to do that. Shavasana. Take one sole of the foot to the floor and the other sole of the foot to the floor, unless you're in legs up the wall, in which case you just stay where you are. Lift the pelvis up, lengthen your tailbone towards your heels, set it back down, and then take the arms wide in a cactus shape and we're just gonna drop both knees to the right. Or you can double wrap left over right if that feels good. I'm just gonna take an easy twist here after our Shavasana to bring us back. Good, and then slowly take it to the other side. So if the knees fall left, you can double wrap right over left. Good, and then just keeping your eyes closed. Come back to center. And keeping your eyes closed, I just want you to transition into child's pose, okay? So keep the eyes closed just however you wanna get there. There's no fancy correct transition to do. Just make your way, knees as wide as the mat. 
or knees touching if that feels better for you. And bring the index finger and um, index fingers to touch again. So you're making that diamond shape above the head. Once again, forehead on the mat. Elbows bent, shoulders relaxed. And deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Deep breath in. Huge breath out. One more time. Deep breath in. Exhale completely. Just take a moment here to just cultivate gratitude for all that your body can do as a woman, right? It is such a privilege, even in the uncomfortable moments. Send more breathing and space into the area of your low back. And then just gently press yourself up. So press your hands into the mat so your head can really be the last thing that comes up. Take a comfortable cross-legged seat. And we'll just bring our hands to prayer at heart center. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Thank you so, so much for practicing with me. I hope you feel better. I hope your cramps feel better. Let me know in the comments below how this went for you. Give this video a like if you enjoyed practicing with me and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Join my private Facebook group if you want to talk about all things yoga with me at yogahackscommunity.com and I would love to hear from you in the comments below. So much love. I hope you feel better from my heart to yours. Namaste.